What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our goalie career. Um, just before we dive into the first matchup of the video, couple quick announcements. First one being a big, big thank you to all of you guys here lately. We have officially eclipsed that 1,000 subscriber marker and became an official YouTube partner. So none of this could be done without you guys. You have been absolutely crazy lately. All the love and support on the channel has been much appreciated. We have not only met that 1,000, we skyrocketed past it. Uh, it seems like the sky's the limit for, for this channel, and it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much. Like I said, a, a, a about three or four months ago, we were only sitting at about three, 350 subscribers, and I made a silly, silly objective of getting a thousand by the end of the year. I said it would be really cool, unlikely, but really cool. You guys have met that, made that a reality, uh, and, and most importantly, made it fun for me to just come on here, record videos, post videos, interact with you guys at basically daily at this point, uh, and, and try and you know upload some positive content in, in a world that's pretty messed up right now. So. Uh, let's continue growing this channel smash that sub button let's keep let's keep grinding some bigger and better goals ahead 2024 is going to be a fun year uh but none of this is possible without you guys like i said it's just a hobby i don't do this as, as a career this is not a profession by any means i do this when i have time but you guys make it fun so um thank you once again on that note uh heading into 2024 it is a week away from the holidays i i, I have no idea where the time has gone this year uh, but because of that, there will be a small change in um, uh, upload uh, scheduling. So we will upload normally Monday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. But there will be a small gap until the following Wednesday at the earliest due to the Christmas break. Now, I do spend time with family. I don't have access to any of my recording stuff. Um, so expect a small break. I know you guys really like the, the daily uploads. And for you guys that follow along with this series or enjoy any other content, the videos are coming. We will record them. There'll just be a small one week break uh, to, to, you know, rest and recuperate. And then 2024 is going to be full steam ahead with with lots of new fun games, lots of new playthroughs. Max or um, uh, Alan Wake 2 will start in the new year. I've recorded a couple of the videos. I kind of want to record it all and then just, you know, spread it out over a couple a uh, couple weeks. Uh, so that's the plan. But um enough about that let's dive back into the game we got a matchup here an away game against the arizona coyotes big big turnaround needed let's get after it uh coyotes you know there's their their stars there it's basically clayton keller alone at the top with nick schmaltz right behind them young team rebuilding team they're going to be fast they're going to be energetic they're looking for a bounce back as well um so we just like i said starts with me and net and goes up we just need to be better looking for our 38th team win of the season arizona arena Let's get after it. An away game, big game for the boys. Let's set the tone here. With one week remaining to the trade deadline, I've been saying it all along, we wanna go in there and show the GM that we're gonna be a strong cup contender and not a seller. I'm really anxious to get there. I, I, I'm happy there's only like four or five games remaining till that deadline. Last year was super exciting for a lot of teams. Let's get after it. Puck drop here, Kings Coyotes. Right off the bat, we have a breakaway. We make a massive save there as Gunther and Schmoltz get in behind our defenseman. Weird little blocking play off the faceoff. And then Arthur Kaliev. Also, I look like a little baby right now. We'll talk about that in a minute. Arthur Kaliev says, here's the breakaway for you guys. I'll just come down the ice and bang in a shot past Velmelka. Oh my gosh, what a hard shot. A banger. A just off the post and in cross. Tried crossing, a, maybe a little bit of a AI cheese. He tried crossing to the other side of the ice, stopped midway, blasted past the goalie. And we got a one nothing goal here in the first minute. And Arthur Kelly of up to 23. What did I just see? My man just said, here's a breakaway for you guys. I'm going to get the puck, walk in, go to the center of the ice and just clap it in. What a good start. There we go. First period Kings are back, baby. Let's get it. Yeah, this, this looks stupid. Don't get me wrong. I Oh, Kempe takes a penalty here. I hate when I shave. I, I don't know. I've had a beard for like 15 years now. And for whatever reason, it might just be the bad weather outside, the cold weather dryness. But it's been pissing me off a lot lately. This is the second time in a month I've shaved right, like full shave. But I, I have such a baby face. I can't stand myself without a beard. It'll grow back. For now, we all have to deal with it. <laughs> all right. Face off uh, in our neutrals or in our defensive zone. We got to kill a two minute tripping call. Kempe gets a stick in the wrong spot. Bunting now, Michael Bunting. Skating it into the offensive zone. He has some room, time and space. Gets it to 
Clayton Keller, the, the lethal goal or the goal scorer there for the Coyotes. Now, I don't know if you guys just saw that, but lately I have not been using the hug post button a lot. Now, we talked about that earlier in the season. I am really happy that EA gave us full control back on that. But if you notice, every time I clip the post right there, you saw the toe. There's a lot of really weird animations in this game now that are not polished. What happens is every time I hug the post and try and move off of it, my leg gets caught behind the post and it makes a really weird animation that throws me off. So I've stopped using it. The second thing I don't really like is this thing. Now, I've seen a lot of playthroughs lately where human goaltenders use it. Basically, the idea is this. If he's coming down... Well, it didn't work regardless. So that's maybe a good example of a thing that doesn't work properly. Dylan Gunther this time capitalize on, capitalizes on the power play. What is our defense doing, man? Gavrikov just gets run into, is out of position. We got a cross and it just bounces off the ice and underneath us. Then we lift lift up Dylan Gunther. He does a backflip. 1-1 one, one hockey game. And I mean, you just got to stay out of the box, unfortunately. I don't know what our defense were doing there, but Gunther all alone across crease. We got it. We got a cross. But anyway, what that what this mechanic is supposed to do is if he's coming down this side, I can hold this to then show where my goaltender's vision is keeping an eye on. So you can supposed to be able to make a save better in case they go cross seam. And I mean, this is ridiculous at this point, boys. Where the hell is our defenseman? Let's hold on to this puck and have a bit of a, a, a group session here. Boys, hello? Wake up. Another cross crease play. We make a huge glove save there. And now the boys are looking real bad all of a sudden. I just don't think it works. Getting back to the mechanic, man, I go on tangents a lot. But I've tried it in shootout mode. I've tried it in practice mode. I don't think it works because for me, like as a human goalie, I can keep an eye on myself and make the save across the crease anyway. And it will have the same impact as if... I just don't like that you have to hold left trigger and hold a direction on the right thumbstick to even use it. It seems like two extra buttons when you're trying to be engaged and use all your controller to make a save. It doesn't seem like... And it just doesn't seem like it does enough to justify doing that. So I think they just showed both teams. We have lost our last two. They have lost their last three. So both teams are hungry. And when you give a, a hungry team a power play opportunity early, why do we never cross crease it? I mean, Byfield was literally standing behind the defenseman alone on the left side. And Dubois didn't even attempt to find him. But that's a beautiful play and a big save by Vegmelka on Patch Reddy, who was right in front. A good cross basically cross crease but in front of the net pass by byfield who tries his power move from the uh, the boards there we got full pressure now dubois back to the defenseman of jordan spence and gavrikov looks so bad here lately dude he might be our worst player in a long time which is so bad because he was doing so well he just looks out of place man pass over to lawson kraus on byfield but maybe we regret that pass up to kaliev's the first line back on the ice goal scorer arthur kaliev into the corner gets behind the net for fiala fiala back in front and okay this top line is bing bang boom right now 24th for arthur kaliev second of the game what a passing play gets it behind the net for kevin fiala who just dishes it right back in front and that is such an unbelievable play What a play there. Yeah, Vegmelka had really no opportunity to make that save. Kaliev just sneaks in behind. Not quite sure who that is. I don't know the Coyotes. I think that's Lawson Kraus, 67. Yeah, it is. So the captain kind of loses his man in front. Kaliev bangs it in. Byfield Fiala with the assist. 2 1 hockey game. So good response. Here we go. We're not done. And Kaliev looking for that first period hat trick. 11.05 left in the first period. Yeah, it was a nice present waking up to seeing that we were accepted into the YouTube program uh, and seeing we were at that 1,000. I think we were at like 1,010 subscribers. Oh, Fiala overskates the puck as Vegmelka did a barrel roll in net. Lawson Kraus now, captain. Weird captain, but surprised they did not give it to Clayton Keller. Oh! And there's that thing. My, my skate got caught on the net, and I'm just way out of position. We'll just hang on to this as Dursey takes a shot from the top of the point. Pressure Mountain now into the LA zone. Let's see if we get a big defensive zone faceoff from Quentin Byfield. 
So far, a pretty fun, fast-paced game. Arizona is struggling for 6-0 in their last 10. I think we're 5-5-0 in our last 10. Moser now gets banged after he gets up. Surprised that's not an interference call. Quentin Byfield gets it up to Drew Doughty. Spots Pacioretty. Pacioretty. He tries finding Dubois, who is going to split the defenseman there. Patch ready now. What am I watching sometimes? This line looks so stupid. Look, Patch ready was one of those guys we talked about it. Signing him in the offseason for basically league minimum. Joined as potential third line in the preseason. Gets bumped up to the second line. Looks to start the season really well. Gets injured for about 12 games. Maybe even longer. Maybe been 15 games. And he's come back and probably been our best points getter since returning. But in the last week of games... He's kind of been nowhere to be found. So big opportunity here for him to turn it around. Gets a physical hit there to get the puck back. Makes a turnover and gets it up to Quinn Byfield, who looked like he was behind the defenseman. Good little hip check along the boards. Loses the puck. Pesh now gets it up to Valimaki. Valimaki loses it to Dubois. And just some errant passing right now between the Kings players. As captain Drew Doughty gets it in. Kaliev now spots Fiala in front. He gets a good shot on net. Blocked in front. We got some good puck movement once again. <laughs> Kempe gets his shot deflected off the stick of Pesh. Is it Pesh or Pesci? P-E-S-C-E. -E. I think he was on Carolina. Or maybe still is on Carolina. I think it's Pesh. I don't know if the Coyotes arena would ever be this loud. But good to hear the supporters here for the, the Desert Dogs. Michael Bunting now up into the offensive zone. Dumps it deep as Lawson Kraus gets it back right to Bunting. And rebound control has been a big issue for me lately, ladies and gentlemen, as Michael Bunting, alone in front, gets a low shot right off the lower left pad. And it bounces somehow perfectly right to the stick of Lawson Krause, who bangs in his 12th of the season. Oh, man. And unfortunately, Doughty just standing there watching, doesn't see Lawson Krause. And it is a 2-2 hockey game on Arizona's 10th shot in this first period. Oh, I made such a big save, and I just kicked the rebound right to his stick. All right, let's bounce back. 2-2 hockey game with 3.25 left in the first period. Not really been great defensively by either team. Fiala now in behind. He has Kaliev going to the net and tries giving it to Kempe instead, who tries finding Fiala, who's down on the ice. Kempe up to Kaliev. Finds Fiala, who spots in, looks for that... Low glove save. You obviously have a catching glove of a right-hander here in Vegmelka. It's a little different look for the shooters. Kempe, big face-off win in the offensive zone. Face-offs in favor of the Kings at the moment. It'll add one to that tally. Mike Anderson just getting the shot on net. That's our 10th shot. So a very busy first period by both of these teams. Damn, that rebound really triggers me. I've, I've worked so hard on rebound control. I put so many points into it. And a low shot for Michael Bunting in the slot. It is what it is. Nice. Kempe with another faceoff win. He's looked good and he gets a tip in front. It was kind of a weak shot for Mikey Anderson anyway. Barrett Hayton now. So I don't even know what the next goal for the channel will be because... I real I'm not joking when I said I, I I knew kind of in the last couple of weeks we'd hit it just because of the amount of growth we'd be getting. But like when I made that goal, I really didn't think we'd hit it this year. Like it, you gotta consider we had 400, 350, 400 subscribers. It took about a year to get that. But to go from that number to over a thousand now took like a two month span. It's crazy. So maybe we just go really balls to the wall and just say 10,000 10, subscribers in the next two, three years. Seems like a pipe dream now, but you never know. You never, you just never know with the community. 2024 should be a fun year. We'll, we'll be purchasing pretty much all of the sporting games. Hoping for big changes to NHL next year. Fiala in the corner. Squirts the puck over to Kempe. Kempe getting mustered off the puck there. He'll kick it free to Kaliev, who tries finding Mikey Anderson. Can I get to this puck? Nope, because I get trapped on my post again. Kempe now. 
up to Kaliev. Kaliev has two in the game. Remember that. Looking for the hat trick. He spots Kempe in front. Kempe's been in the right position. Seems like he's fighting his shot a little bit. Didn't get anything on that one. And the AI is going for these cross crease passes every time. You just got to be ready for them. Cross crease, cross seam, whatever you want to say. Veg Malcolm will make his save and we'll get a whistle. 16 33 here on the clock for the second period. Pretty fun first one. Let's see if the defense can tighten up. Kempe with a big hit in the neutral zone. And that's kind of been the story of the tape here for the Kings. You want to you want to talk about where their struggles come from? 80.9% passing effectiveness. That's bad, dude. That's you know, when we're playing at our best, it's near 90 or over 90. This is kind of unbelievable what we're witnessing lately. Every single play is almost a two-on-one. They're gonna say I kicked it in. I mean, no, I didn't. <laughs> Where, where did they say I kicked that in? But look at this. He's, so he's coming across, and Mikey Anderson just whiffs. Now it's a two-on-one. Doughty loses his man. Cross, okay, so cross him again. We make the save. How do you say that's my fault? Is it because it went off my stick? I mean, he made the shooting motion. If anything, that should be goalie interference. But... Oh, uh, another rebound cheesy goal. Man, that's two in this game. 3-2 hockey game here. Oh, uh, this is rough going lately. I don't know what's going on. I can't make any rebound to the appropriate spot. That's another low. That's another cross seam pass. Another two on one low shot that finds the stick in front and goes in. Like every play that these teams have been making lately have been the same freaking goal. Like, did EA update it so they just try that 98% of the time? Or is it literally just the AI learning like, hey, that works. Let's try it every shift. Unfortunate, at the end of the day, that's another goal that I feel like I need back. Just the rebounds are just so bad lately. Anyway, you got to shake it off. The game's not done. It's still just a one goal game. Try and just get steady in the net and help the boys out. Not, you know, stop the bleeding. Not allow too many more goals. Try and allow no more goals. That's obviously the objective. And hey, I'm going to call out some players. I'm calling myself out, first of all. That's a, it's a bad luck for me. But I don't know if it's the superstar difficulty. Because I don't remember seeing this as much in an all-star. But the amount of times our players look like they have a step on the defenseman. And instead, they just do an open ice deke at the blue line to lose the puck is actually remarkable like i do not remember all-star having that many times where an open ice deke is performed but since we've switched to superstar go back and watch the last like four videos every time they get to the blue line it's an open ice deke some good pressure here from the boys a again it's this kaliev line that is trying to do all the labor for for the team right now it's it sucks that we, we're not seeing any success from any other line <laughs> what a slow shot there by gavrikov just a little fluffy one into the glove of Vejmalka. Valmalka, however you pronounce it. Here we go. Face off win again by Kempe with full pressure mounting for 20 more seconds. Fiala in the corner. Finds Spence. Spence has looked good lately. Gets cross crease to Kaliev. Here we go. Jordan Spence in front and a good body block. And Veg Melka will hang on with a big save in front there. Gavrikov now. In front of Kempe. We have all the pressure in the world, and Veg Melka's now looking like a an absolute unit as Kempe just tries bobbling that one to the front of the net. Go Gunther. Oh my, I can't make a save right now. Like I can make a save, but I can't make a rebound save. That hit the outside of the post. And now we're being hemmed in. 
Come on, boys, wake up. Six minutes left in the second period. We're only down a goal. I apologize for those two goals. They weren't my finest efforts. Jordan Spence now caught, and we got it. we're got we going to have a two-on-one here. Lawson Krause didn't... I don't think he expected the puck to get to him there. Come on, guys, wake up. Third line now, Donato. Last time we played our third line, they did have a spark of offense for us. Kaliev remains on the ice here. It'll be Henrique with just a low shot trying to get a rebound. And Henrique will take the Ozone faceoff. Let's see if the man who's had a pretty remarkable resurgence in his career here with the LA Kings loses the faceoff. Bunting comes out in to help his centerman. And now it's going to be another neutral zone possession from these Arizona Coyotes. What a time to be like streak, like streaking in the wrong direction. And I'm not saying this game is over by any stretch of the imagination, but like. You compare our games lately to other games, and we've all been, we've just been bad as a unit. Capita now. Trying to get past. He does with a weird little T. Gets in. Finds Adam Henrique, and that one will bang in. And that's the, that's the problem of being a right-handed catcher. When your trapper's on that right side, if it's a low shot, it is really hard to get your glove. You almost have to turn your hand like this. I know this is a video game, guys, but I'm just speculating based on real goaltending. Kapanen gets the puck across, and yeah, he got a piece of it off his pad. Couldn't get his glove low enough. And Adam Henrique, a third-line shift. We've seen it. Oh, that's Ryan Donato who got the pass. I thought it went to Henrique. So Ryan Donato is the one who pots his goal there. And what a great play. We've said this third-line sparks, sparks offense. We need it. I thought, that stick, I thought that puck went to the stick of Henrique in front. That was actually Donato. Great little shot from him there. 3-3 three, three hockey game with sub two minutes in the second period. And they're going to keep the captain line out there. And I love when the coach does this. It's like, okay, we've had some struggles with the second line. Let's get the third line who just scored a goal. Give them another shift to end this period. I think just the faith in, in what these guys can do is, has been really good lately. 32 seconds left on the clock. Mikey Anderson up to goal scorer Ryan Donato, who does a dipsy doodle through the center ice. It'll be Casper captain just getting that puck on that. Let's go, baby. Keller now. Last ditch effort. And it will go to the intermission with a 3-3 hockey game. We will take that every day. A couple bad rebound goals. A beautiful goal from a third line to get us back in. And I mean, you look at that and we deserve to win this game. 22 shots right now. Five minutes of time on attack compared to 256. Our passing percentage is now up to 87.8. The boys are looking okay. We've had a lot of pressure on Vegmalka. He's had a great game so far. Still a bit sloppier than I would like for me, but end of the day, it's a tie game with a fresh lead of ice going into the third period. Basically a tied hockey game starting from scratch. And Gunther's kind of been all over the place tonight. Dylan Gunther has had a really good, quietly good game on this Keller line. So that's a good line. I mean, you got Schmaltz, Keller, and Gunther. Probably the only really points getter on the team. Austin Krause didn't have a lot when he scored his goal. Kaliev now has Fiala way up there. Cherry picking a little bit. Mikey Anderson now in front of his net. Passes it to Drew Doughty. He almost loses it in front of the net. Come on, boys. Get it out. There you go. Gunther now. Gets absolutely pancaked by Drew Doughty. Big hit in the open ice. And Drew Doughty has a step and we'll have a power play into the third period. Let's go, baby. He uses his feet, gets behind the defenseman, and really, Velmaki doesn't have much of an opportunity other than to put, you know, the stick between the skates and stop a two-on-one break from happening. Let's go, baby. Power play to work. Face off, lost by Byfield. But Patch Reddy gets it as the defenseman can corral that. Patch ready goes in front of the net. He'll backhand it. Not quite sure that was the play, but Haglin now. He'll dump it in. And Lazat, Blake Lazat getting some opportunity on the power play as he usually does. Up to Patch ready. So the second line is a weird combination. You wouldn't think that, you know, Henrique by field Patch ready would be the strongest combo on the second line, but they've been really strong. Same with, you know, 
Is that two forwards on the back end? I see Donato and I see... Uh, wait, is it Donato Lazat as our second defensive pairing? Oh! Oh! No! Pacioretty just fighting the puck right now, trying to get into the back of the net. Stale for a couple weeks, like I've said. But a good power play effort here from the boys. The Kempe line will now jump on. Like Lazat and Ryan Donato stay on the ice. So five forwards for the LA Kings. Could be a reason why we have so many power play goals this, this year. Vegmelk is looking pretty strong in net there for the uh, for the Coyotes. We have full pressure, so a big faceoff coming now for Kempe. Let's see if the man can win one and keep this momentum going as we have 33 seconds left in the period or in the power play. 16 exactly on the period, and a win there thanks to the help of Arthur Kaliev. Shot on net. I don't like that shot from Kempe. I really don't like that shot. You're behind the net on a power play. I get the bang in has been effective in other games, but not sure, not sure. Face off win mandatory. Does not, loses it, and that's going to alleviate the full pressure. Dubois jumps to keep it in. All right, all right. In front. That's not going to count. No way. Uh, in front, Kalia bumps the goalie. It squeaks through the five hole. Yeah, unfortunately, just got too far into that crease. That is full pressure alleviated. Oh, that was such a good opportunity. What a keep in from Dubois. Eight seconds left. Final seconds of this power play. And with that effort, they're going to step out of the penalty box. We're going to go back to even strength as Dubois. End of the power play. We got to be careful here now. Gavrikov, what in God's name are you doing? That may have been Kaliev, actually. What are you doing, brother? Starts chasing the puck and then just stops on the logo of center ice and turns around. You're lucky that didn't get into our zone. Doughty now. He's got Kaliev on the left side. Finds Kempe in the middle. Some good passing plays here. Rebound right to Kaliev and what a goal for a hat trick. 25th of the season. How did he even bang that in? We got some hats raining here. There would never be that many hats here in a in an away game, but I respect the game for throwing in some bullshit. <laughs> wow, how did he get that in? Some great puck work again. Fiala takes it strong to the net. That's a bit gross from Cali have to get his hat trick, his 56 of the season, catching Kevin Fiala. Um, Arthur Cali have had the day three goals so far. I believe, was that his third goal? It didn't say that. No, it was, because we saw the hats. I'm surprised the little banner didn't say third of the night. And, then, and what happens? The coach comes right back with our third line. And now everybody's trying to bank it in short side. You'll love to see it. The AI learning in full effect. Gunther now. Top line for the Coyotes. We get across and absolutely rob Schmaltz. 11.42 left in this period. The Kings take a big 4-3 lead. We have not had a lead all game, if I'm not mistaken. Did Kaliev score first, or was it them? I think Kaliev did score, but it came back really quickly. So first lead in a while. See if we can play from ahead. Keller now. This line has been so lethal for them. Just hounding pucks perfectly. 20th shot of the game for the Arizona Coyotes. 10.36 left. Kapanen trying to do his work in the offensive zone as it looks like the Kings might look to start a change. No, you still see both players. Kapanen now going for a skate. The speedy Kasperi Kapanen dumps it in. Unfortunately, nobody there. I don't really know this strategy either. Like, that's a coaching strategy where you dump the puck in. But if you look, Donato and Henrique didn't even attempt to go after that. All right. Let's go, baby. Big hit there. That was a monster hit. And yeah, we're looking for our 30th. We would tie Andre, uh, Mark Andre Fleury, and Jakob Markstrom. Remember Markstrom in the in the Flames? They started off so strong and have been a little flat here lately. Still beating us, but some goaltenders on that list having superb years. I mean, we're having a great sophomore year. It's it's you know nearly 
30 wins. We only have about 13 losses or 12 losses, whatever it might be. A phenomenal season. And we are still not even in the top five of goaltending. It's pretty crazy. There's great goaltenders this year. We, we talked about how the Western Canadian hockey teams were, they're just, all of them have been dominant this year. You saw Thatcher Demko near the top. You saw Stuart Skinner near the top. Obviously, Jakob Markstrom. Myself is included. A lot of Western teams. Again, I've talked about it. You may be noticing a pattern. Western hockey right now is so close and so dominant. Goche or is that Goche or Gunther? I can't. I have no idea who some of these players are. They've been all over the net, man. I think that's Goche because it's their second line. I'm gonna play this out. I, I want full pressure to be allevi alleviated. Come on, boys. Get it up. Kaliev. No, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I'm an idiot. I hate AI in this game. Michelli banks in his 13th. I hate the AI in this game. EA, you can... Don't, don't. I was going to say, you could keep all the game modes the same if you fix your freaking AI. But please, please change your game modes. How is it that I make the play well that Coyotes are going back to the blue line? Kaliev gets the puck and turns on a dime and gets pinned along the boards and it's a two-on-one turnover. They have to find a way to make it so the AI is smarter with the puck. You have Doughty streaking past you. All you have to do is kick it to the blue line or just dump it. I don't care. Yes, that's a mistake by me. I should not have played that puck. I knew that was going to bite me. I even said it out loud. But you have to find a way as a good player on a hockey team that's playing well. I don't care what momentum, I don't care what AI learning has to do. You have to find a way to make your AI make the right freaking play. A little bit of a rant here, but it happens way too often in this video game, man. I'm such an idiot for even thinking that they would do it. That's my mistake. I mean, it's his mistake, but I know, I, I've known it forever that the AI do not make that play. I gotta stop passing the puck out. You know, one of the negative things from my coach that always, not that I give a sh like, I don't care what the coach says I need to work on because at the end of the day, I can only console so much. But one of the things is pass the puck more and every time I pass the puck, it ends up in the back of the net. Ay caramba! Should be a, this should be a 4-3 hockey game and instead I make the stupid judgment call. Kaliev going towards the blue line, has, has Doughty in front of him, and turns and gets pinned on the boards, and that's it. As soon as that happens, you just know. Oh, Michael Webb, you are one dumb video game player sometimes. That could have been a trip on Drew Doughty there, and they're not going to call it, so Byfield up now. Oh. That's just something I got to mentally be aware that that's just never going to go in my favor, man. Dang it, dude. 27.3 seconds left on the third period. It's a 4-4 hockey game. Byfield with a big face-off win. Here we go. Oh, Mikey Anderson looking for the low rebound shot. I don't know why he was alone. Jersey now being hounded there by Pierre-Luc Dubois. 10 seconds on the clock. Lawson Kraus up to Michael Bunting. Last chance here for the LA Kings. And it looks like we are headed for an overtime game after I made a poor judgment error. But EA guys, like, you did a whole new AI retweaking, yet for some reason that is something that has happened in every video game. Please make your AI do the smarter thing. Especially when you have a, a, a you know, a defenseman streaking pass where you have an easy outlet. Forget about all the difficult, It's a great play. It's a great play, but I, I am looking so bad lately, dude. Let's check in on some of the five. Bro, what is happening to me lately? The Kings had a tall five goals again? 
My guy didn't even move on the shot. He stood still. Five hole. Angles. Breakaway. Where's rebound, man? <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. This is, uh, there's no other excuse to what's happening right now. This is just bad hockey from, from me. We are thankfully getting the next start. I have no idea why the coach is, maybe it's because it's a home start. I mean, you got to consider Spencer Knight has won his last three starts. We've lost our last three. We are on a three game losing streak and we are, oh, come on, Mike. Come on. Oh, that was such a stupid play. All right. Shake it off. Home game here against the Montreal Canadiens. Let's end this freaking bleeding. I'm, I'm really mad at myself. I'm mad at I'm mad at the AI, but that is something. I, especially after that overtime goal, I didn't even react to it. I did. I tried going into the butterfly. My guy just stood up. He didn't even see it. How do we? Oh God. Well, it's going to be one of those nights where Kaliev, I was going to say, how does Kaliev get a hat trick and we still lose? But Kaliev, this is this is going to be typical, has a great game and he's going to follow it up with a terrible game. Calling it now. Suzuki, 63 points of the season. Oh, man. Hawfield with the rebound. Tries to get it through. And Grant will get it up to Drew Doughty, who's... Going on a bit of a skate here on a penalty kill. I'm not entirely sure I like that, but he usually does find time and space to get back, which he does. Cole Caulfield across the seam. We make a big save there. And another big save off a point shot that got tipped in front. So yeah, I forgot Tyler Bertuzzi's on the, the Montreal Canadiens in this game. Damn, dude. Damn, Daniel. I've lost their last three games, and the unfortunate part about all that is I am the recipient of all three losses. Still looking for our 30th of the season. Pull Caulfield now. Tries that low shot again this time. I make a good rebound save. I think I think that's just got to, you know, we put vision for a long time. We put low glove save for a long time. Both still haunt me a little bit. A rebound control in this right now is real bad we're gonna play smart i'm not gonna be passing out too many pucks anymore all right here we go still on the penalty kill we got sebastian aho grunstrom in front of us with donato taking the face off mikey anderson playing defense mikey anderson shoots the puck up goes to donato who gets it even further down the ice that's valuable seconds off this power play 42 seconds left here in the bench or in the minor. Donato now. He had Mike Anderson creep down low. What in the freak? What the hell? Come on, game. How does he poke it from behind me when I'm shooting the puck? <laughs> Dude, the new the new I've gone what? 40 episodes into this series before talking real crap about some of the things, but I've, I've seen all the videos, guys. I know this game's not in a good spot. But man, for some reason lately, I'm getting all of the annoying things happening to me at once, and it's making it really hard to go out there and be like, no, this game is good for what it is. You got all the animation glitches. You got all the dumb AI. You got, I just skated the puck past the guy and clicked right trigger to shoot the puck. And he somehow pokes it from behind me. And instead of going for, if you're poking the puck like this, how does the puck not go forward and go almost behind me? Thank God I had a defenseman there. Or that would be a Steve Dangle bang it saying 10 the net. If you're a goaltender, 10 the net. I'm going to pass it out. There's nobody on that side. Make the smart play. Kempe will just dump and chase, but this time he's actually there to dump and chase it. That's a good one. Gets in front of Kaliev. Penalty over. 12.45 left in the first period. we got a nothing-nothing hockey game. Anderson now, the big man. Tries going opposite side. And Dubois does not jump in to fight after Spence gets absolutely hammered along the board. 
nearly banks one in, and Jake Allen makes a really good save here. Oh. I, I've, all, I've said it since the beginning of time. Like, you, you got to be able to shake off the good goals. Unfortunately, that last game was full of bad ones, and that's hard to shake off. Dubois now gets it to Quinton Byfield. Byfield back to Gavrikov, who takes his time and shoots it off the shin pads of the forward pushing him. Roy now. Byfield with the pickoff. He has Pacioretty streaking in the middle. Does he spot him? No, because for whatever reason, we're not able to ever get around their defenseman. Christian Dvorak. Sakovsky right in front. Pacioretty. Open ice deke loses it. Captain Suzuki now. Full Caulfield. Streaking into the... How do they make it so easy, but we never? <laughs> it's because they do it at the right time. Woo! Stop with the cross-crease passes! What is happening? This is like this is like online EASHL all over again. As a human goaltender, that's all people do is cross-crease cheeses. 29, 12, and 0. Still looking for number 30. Finally, Kempe wins the defensive zone faceoff. Drew Doughty. He'll go for a skate, gets it up to Arthur Kaliev, who's behind. With a nice little dangle in front, a good rebound control there to the defenseman. Now, obviously, we had a guy in behind there, but when your defenseman's there and he can get a stick on the ice, that's a good rebound control. When there's no defenseman there, and that's where the rebound goes, that's a bad rebound control. <laughs> 6.30 left in the first period. Kings now applying some pressure. Fiala in front. Are you going to count this? I think they are because it went off the Montreal stick. But Kevin Fiala runs into the goaltender of Jake Allen, 27th of the season. The puck goes free, and it's the defenseman's stick. Timothy Liljegren. They're getting all of Toronto's players. So Timothy Liljegren just skates that one in, and I think that's why it's not being called goaltender interference. Because if you watch, Fiala does just skate right into Jake Allen. I don't think, I think the argument if this was real hockey would be it went in off Lilligren. There's there's probably zero chance Jake Allen had, even if he was unaffected there, to make the save. But we'll take that. We had that happen to us not long ago. one nothing Kings. Some good puck movement here in the zone late in this first period. Big cannon from the top of the dot there from Kaliev. We know he's had a blistering shot in this video game. Kempe. Loses the puck, but Kalia picks it up. Gets it back to Mikey Anderson, who just throws it towards the front of the net. Joey Anderson now, the big man, streaking in through the neutral zone. Gets into the defensive zone of the Kings. Behind the net. We've seen this play too many times. We'll make a big save in front there. Highfield trying to get around his man. Shea gets knocked off the puck and gets it up to Joey Anderson, who I feel like has been on the ice for... 17 minutes in this first period. Lilia Green in front, trying to make up for his mistake. Knocks us on our butt, but thankfully our defenseman's there to get the puck back. Two minutes left into the first period. Byfield now in front to Dubois, who rings it off the post. How many posts have we hit in these last two games, man? What a play. Absolutely beats Jake Allen, but the post is there to bail out his goaltender, Slikovsky now. First round pick for Montreal a few years ago. Really has not Probably hasn't got, he's made some really nifty plays, dude, but he has not gotten off to the start they needed him to. Quinn Byfield loses the puck to Matheson. 21 seconds left in the, in the power, period! Too many, whoa, that tip. Oh my God, that tip could have very easily been a 1-1 hockey game. Patch ready late into the period with a burst of speed and can't get a shot on that. So we'll head to the intermission with a 1-0 lead thanks to the goal by technically Timothy Liljegren. Whew. It's a mouthful sometimes. I, I do get winded talking out loud. It, 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 to me, it's a skill to be able to commentate a little bit and play the video game. Now, obviously, I'm not playing as a forward. Suzuki versus Kempe. Kempe starts the second period on a high note. Fans are going absolutely nuts here. Liljegren. He skates to the neutral zone. Shea. That's a pretty good defense pairing. I don't know how well Liljegren developed in this game, but Shea is a pretty solid defenseman. He has elite status in this game. 
Kylie have another weird name though. S K E J. Shay. The very uh, is he Czech? I'm not sure where he's from. I think that might be a Czechish name. I don't know if Czech is just the right. I know he's Czech. Would be the pre Czech name. Suzuki. Could be Polish. Could be a number of things. Scandinavian, maybe. Kempe. Suzuki gets the puck back. Nick Suzuki. Skating in. Gets a cross crease, but Dubois has seen this one too many times. He gets back. And guess. I swear to God I turned that off. I did turn that off, which means that's another setting does that does not save. EA, how how is it how is it December 17th? The game came out four months ago, three months ago, and you still have the setting issues where things aren't saving. God dang it! Byfield now. Dubois helps out, gets it across crease. I'm out of position because I had the shot. That's why you don't change the camera until the puck's out of your zone. Oh my gosh, that turnover was wild. Christian Dvorak now. Center ice up to Sikovsky. Poke that one right to Kavrikov. Uh, sometimes you got to get your stick involved. 14 14 left, 1 0 hockey game. Pacioretty, I don't know. He looks a little bit older in these last few games. The man had some. Oh! Go, Dubois! Go! No, oh, that is such a bad effort, and you missed the net. Third line coming on the ice now for the Kings for the first time in this game. Cole Caulfield up to Suzuki. He gets absolutely pancaked. Dude, these, these pucks getting squirted the way they're getting free is just really, really frustrating. Adam Henrique now center ice. Turns and spins. Waits for his team to help him out. Instead, he gives it right to Tyler Bertuzzi. But Donato coming back to help out. Getting hounded to the puck by Captain Suzuki right in front. Full pressure now for the Montreal Canadiens. Oh my god, please. Capitan with a burst of speed to the point or to the boards gets the puck. Thank you. Um so because of the full pressure, I went to make a post save and my guy slid 10 feet off the post and that went bar, crossbar down and I was able to recover. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Make it stop. What a sequence of plays there. Post save me on two straight shot attempts. Thank you, NHL Jesus. Jersey now up to Gallagher. Anderson now prowls the puck and gets it up to his teammate Fiala. Fiala has Kempe and Kaliev with him. Kempe drops it back for Captain Drew Doughty. And instead he tried passing it, and it's going to be Matheson who puts a stick on the ice. And Kirby Dak now. Yep. My rebound control. I mean, it should have been a 1-1 hockey game on either of the first two plays there. But Brennan Gallagher beats Mikey Anderson to the puck. Rebound. The rebound cheese right now is next level. And yeah, I mean, well, my rebound is just dropping to the left of me. There is nothing as a human goaltender control that I can do there. I, I don't have a way of deflecting it. I, however it bounces off me, that's just based on stats. And right now on 83 rebound controller, whatever the heck it is, it's just not good enough. 1-1 one, one hockey game, second period, 6.30 left on the clock, Quentin Byfield. I'm not mad about that, though. That that's, That is what it is. It's a good play. He had a step on Mikey Anderson, shoots a puck low. He knows my rebound control has been bad lately. Again, it should it should be a 3-1 game realistically. They rang it off two posts when I'm out of position, so I'm sliding everywhere right now. 445 now. This period has almost entirely been Montreal possession. Very, very sloppy period from the boys in front of us. Cole Caulfield now. Up to Kirby Doc.
I got a bone to pick with my defenseman here. Now, should that have been a save I made? Absolutely. So let's not let's not ignore that. How is it that my defensemen are just nowhere near the like this is Drew Doughty? Okay, he's with him, he's with him, and then he just That's it. He's he's caught. Mikey Anderson not with his man. How does how does that even happen? Stops. Yeah, okay. That's how it happens. I, did I miss it? Come on, slower. Oh my gosh, the low glove save. Did that go in? No, the red light didn't turn on until then. The Canadians are in the driver's seat now. Come on, Mike. Make a save when we need it. The team is playing so bad. I need to be able to steal one. And it is 2-1 Montreal, and the pressure does not stop there. This is embarrassing, Kings. Come on. I shouldn't have passed that, but... Oh, my God. I almost want to keep passing it just to show you guys how bad the AI is with, with managing the puck. Oh, come on. Neither one of you guys are going to fight. Four on four coming up. Oh, man. 229 in the second, and we're in a funk, man. Myself included, we are in a big funk. It's almost like we forgot how to play. Spence now. Krause the puck, gets it up to... Adrian Kempe, who I don't know why in God's green earth he is having so much trouble getting the puck out of his own zone. But he is looking like an amateur out there. Cali have a step now on Timothy Lilligren. Bounces back to Spence, and he gets hit hard. Cole Caulfield now. Both men out of the box, I believe. This is getting tiring. This is getting annoying. I'm actually quite annoyed with my team right now. What is Gavrikov doing? What a beautiful play as they catch their opponent flat footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage on him. Am I crazy for thinking these defensive plays are horrible? Again, don't mistake it. These are these are goals that I wish I saved. Now it's still a great play and a beautiful shot by Nick Suzuki. But that is like six straight plays where the defenseman is with the man and stops to let him just skate past him. In what world is that a strategy? I apologize, guys. These are some these are some rough video games. Did we even have a shot on net in that period? One. Let's go, boys. Come on. We are getting beat by teams that are barely 500 hockey clubs. Oh my gosh, please somebody come help him out. Um Excuse me, uh, Crypto.com Arena. If you if if you spotted any of the LA Kings defensemen, please report to the front office. Hello? Wake up, please. Kempe now trying to get the offense going here for the Kings. Passes in front to Kaliev. That's a good shot. Now, if that was Nick Suzuki, that'd be in the back of the net because they're apparently gods at that play. Jake Allen makes a big save. We're not frustrated. We're just disappointed. Kempe with a defensive zone faceoff. Kaliev comes in to help him out, but it's going to squirt free to Tyler Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi now. In front again with another...
Why is my guy sliding so far? What is why? Why? Did that did that did that first shot really really pull my goalie off that far from the net? Why am I sliding so freaking far while I'm in butterfly? What has happened to me? What has happened to the team? Help! Hey, we said it from day one, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to always post the good, the bad, the ugly. And unfortunately, these last two videos have been the furthest thing from good and have been super deep into the ugly. I can't make a save. Legitimately, everything is beating me. Legitimately, everything is beating my goalie. I even followed him across there. Oh my gosh. Can I be can I be yanked? Is that possible? Is that allowed? Coach, help. Help me. Help me help you. And now the fans are booing us. They are booing the shit out of us right now. This is amazing. Good. Let him let me have him. I need a I need an exorcism right now. My demons are I, I how do I how do I make a save? How do I make it how do I make a save? Like, I actually held post and I followed him across and he still beat me over the pad. 9 to 24 shots. <laughs> I'm actually kind of speechless at what's happening right now. I've never seen the team play so bad in front of us and I've never seen myself play this bad in this entire first two seasons. This is what I this is what I reward you guys with with a thousand subscribers. This crap. Wake up, Michael Webb. I'm legitimately at a loss for words. We are on a power play. Minute 28. We have 13:30 left in the in the period of the hockey game, and we are losing 5-1 to the Montreal freaking Canadiens. That's our first shot in basically since the first minute of the second period. If, if another goal goes in where their defenseman pokes it in, I'm going to cry. I mean, I don't want to celebrate a second goal in a 5-2, and I don't think Adam Henrique should have ever celebrated that hard, but he gets his 15th of the season on the power play. Maybe a little breathing life left in the legs. See if we can fight back. I can't believe this. This is crazy. Come on, boys. Help me out for once. I've not been able to, to do this lately. Now he dumps and chase with nobody chasing. Brady Shea gets it up to Christian Dvorak. And I got to tighten up my play here, man. Dubois now. Power play goal from Adam Henrique. Maybe a tiny sparkle of life from the Kings here. Wow, they got us. I'm, I'm actually making a plea to the coach. Let's let me sit for two games, please, please. I need something to change. Spencer Knight has won three. This is going to be my fourth loss. So we can make a breakaway save. We can't make a normal shot save. Come on! Oh my gosh. What a nice little stutter step there by Byfield, but it's going to be Jake Allen who makes the save. There's our there's our upcoming game. San Jose, Nashville, Arizona Coyotes, which takes place on the tra tra trade deadline day. So we quite literally could have a different team during that. I can't believe what I've been witnessing. Liljegren now off the faceoff gets it up to Pharrell. I don't know if I really needed to make the save there, but I'll I'll definitely help try and get my stats back to a respectable number. I feel like I don't know if they changed something with the butterfly or if it's just me being that terrible lately. 
but why am I sliding like freaking mad in Butterfly? I missed it, but Captain Drew Doughty goes, points to somebody in the crowd, gets his 12th of the season. It's a 5-3 hockey game. Now it makes me feel extra sad that I gave up all those goals. But Kevin Fiala spots Drew Doughty, 37th assist of the season. And Captain Drew Doughty with all the time and space absolutely rips one on a screen Jake Allen. Top corner 5-3 hockey game. We have time. It's 7.14 left. I, I don't know what I'm witnessing in this game right now. It's a bloodbath on both ends of the ice all of a sudden. Shea now into the neutral zone. Gets it up to Farrell. Farrell, Farrell. Come on. Get the puck free. How is Kirby Doc just manhandling everybody? Passing it out. I mean, it's already 5 3. What's, what's a pass in front going to do? Oh my God. Oh no. Matheson just saved a goal. Christian Dvorak now into the offensive zone for his Montreal Canadiens. In front again. That almost perfectly bounced to his stick. This is nuts. Big save. That's their 30th shot of the game. 336, running out of time now. We know the coach does not like to pull the goaltender. We're going to need one quick here, and then we're going to need one right in the dying minutes of this third period. Dubois just loses the puck willy-nilly. Face off? Nope. Matheson gets the puck behind the net. Slikovsky. I feel so slow and so crap in net. This is brutal. Get me out. I'm sorry, team. I let, I'm sorry, fans. I'm sorry, team. I let everybody down in this fucking game. Excuse the language, but holy jumpins. I suck. Enough, I, I will never get my 30th win playing like this. I, I, I moved left on my thumbstick, and my guy was like... So it seems like when I'm moving like this, I'm moving so slow. But when I go into butterfly, I'm sliding way out of position. I suck. There's there's nothing. This is embarrassing hockey right now. And I'm at, look at this. My guy's falling all over the place. All right. We, we need to... Okay, something's actually broken with my goalie right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is brutal. What an unbelievably terrible showing by Michael Webb and Nett. A really bad second period from the Kings. A great third period to try and come back. But I let in, what, four goals in that third period? Was that four goals in one period? Unbelievable. The fans are booing as they should be, honestly, as they should be. Much, yeah, that, that, the tail of the tape was that second period. And then me just absolutely falling apart in the third. And I have nothing left to say other than I'm disappointed <laughs> in myself, mostly. Let's take a look at the yes, rest of the yes, on yes. The you can always say the team's not playing well in front of you. I've seen it a billion times. But that is back-to-back -back really bad games. That is now my fourth straight loss. Why are they giving me... <sighs> play Spencer Knight! I'm, I'm actually begging you to play Spencer Knight. How... 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 On... Shut up, Sabalski. How on God's green earth can you look at me losing four straight losses? Four. He has won three straight games, and you're saying, we're putting you back in, coach. I am embarrassed with how I'm playing. I don't like how I'm playing. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this one. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say to you guys other than I apologize. This is not the way I wanted to ce celebrate a thousand wins, but we are now one video away one from the Arizona Coyotes game, which happens to be the trade deadline. Make sure you guys like and subscribe again. Thank you so much for all this love and support. We'll turn this around some way or somehow. But until then, make sure you take care of yourself. We'll see you back here in the next video. Bye, guys.